Hello out there on YouTube slash Facebook land. This is Bishop Big Country, also known in Java Edition with Julian Stucky and CJ, the Master CJ. I am the Phantom 97. I would just like to give you all a quick tour of my realm. So, me and several other friends play on here. Whenever they spawn, they spawn in right here. All these blocks were placed by hand in survival. The animals and name tags were added after the realm was built, after the realm and spawn was built up. But other than that, everything was placed in survival. So this was where I first. This is actually in the Windows 10 edition. It's one of the custom templates you can, one of the custom seats you can spawn. So. And this is just the basic island I started out with. Oh, we're gonna get us a horse drive because I don't feel like walking around. Hawkeye. Okay, that'll work. Um, well, I'll show you that over there later. Okay. So this right here, just uh, I have a uh, bridges. I have bridges with higher levels like this so boats can still go through also as you can see I have a railroad track over there going to a main continent this is a uh, traitor this is Gilgalad Gilgalad was an elven king in the Lord of the Rings not the Lord of the Rings but the Tolkien well yes Lord of the Rings in the Tolkien legendarium uh, who are you? I can't have you buddy this is just a little house I built over here on this island because it's I think it's cute. As you can see, I have a lighthouse with some wheat just to give it kind of a, I don't know, a Scottish-Irish feel. And down here I have a beach. Now, I built all the stuff you're going to see today, I built, except the white pyramid thing over there near the spawn island. I built everything else. I built this beach here. Got a fishing place, got a, some mats with some sea pickles for cups. Uh, sea li this is a sea pickle lantern, one of my creations, I'm proud to say. I didn't get this idea from anybody. Also have another one out there in the middle of the water. This is, some of y'all might recognize the name, this is Fit MC. he's the, he's the bartender here, he can get you something to drink or something to eat. A terrible pine tree, just a little sitting area over here, just another little viewing area. And a volleyball court. Used a conduit for a volleyball because, well, it's the closest thing you can get to a volleyball in this game. Look, it even has the little platform for the spotter to get up and see what everything's happening. Okay, Hawkeye has ran off on us, so, oh no, there he is. Gonna hop on Hawkeye and head over to the main continent. Who is this? Laws. Good to see you, buddy. We're gonna have to go. Oh, that's the road that leads to the lighthouse. Anyway, we're gonna have to go on this trail. Um, as you can see down there, I have a dolphin pen. I have two dolphins in there. <laughs> Jacques and Cousteau. So Jacques Cousteau. Here, the bridge continues on over this way, and the bridge goes all the way over here to the main continent. As I said, all these blocks were placed by hand in survival mode. All the like anim all the mobs that were named in the conduits and the fancy stuff were placed afterwards. Well actually, I think like six of the conduits I placed myself. Um This is very important to me. <laughs> I was working on this and this Enderman just came and placed this sand right here, so I decided to leave it there, but up on this hill we have I actually got this idea from Julian Stuckey and uh, his strings. It's not quite as nice as his but it's still pretty cool. It's a mob place or a mob prison. Got a witch, a skeleton, creeper. 
um, zombie, zombie villager, and a vindicator and an evoker. Now, the vindicator and the evoker were spawned in unnaturally. I caught the skeleton, and I caught the zombie, and I made him. I spawned a villager and let a zombie eat him, so I made him. So, yeah, I kind of cheated, but it doesn't really matter. But that's that. Oh, wait. And I got a cool little desk back there. Where'd Hawkeye go? Hawkeye, the name Hawkeye is actually a reference to my favorite TV show, MASH. So we're going to head down the hill here. And as I said, this is still a work in progress, so we're still in the world. And that's the railroad track. That goes all the way over to the island where the lighthouse and the beach and stuff is. And as you can see, I have these raised parts of the bridges so boats can still pass through. And dolphins and squids and fishes and all can still say, hey, I just want to come by here. Is it getting a little light? Yep. So we're going to go take it. We're going to go on to bed because we don't want to get killed. We'll stay over here in this house tonight. Alright, there we go. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. You know what? <laughs> The way, the way sleeping is in this is pretty accurate. At least how I remember whenever I would go to sleep whenever I was like in elementary school. It was it, it always seemed like I would just, you know, wake up, uh, go to sleep. It seemed like I'd just blink my eyes then get up. I remember it was so terrible. Did I change? Yeah, that's Gilglad. I already showed y'all him. So we're going to head back over here. A sheep. Now, the only thing that wasn't the structure that wasn't placed in survival. At least I don't think it was, because I didn't build it. I thought my friend Wesley actually built it. Was this right there. That thing. And this is actually... He's building a mine shaft. Press that button and you're standing there. Drops you down and there's water down there so you won't get killed. A live whale, so if I get hungry, I just get in there and kill some fish. Now, he also spawned in all these villagers. Gilgalad over there was a zombie villager that spawned that I made back into a normal villager, so he's completely natural. Hold on. John and Phil were sheep that spawned on the island, so was Godfrey. Uh, Thatcher spawned naturally. Cluck, Click, and I think Kelly. Or what's the other chicken's name? Clemson was all. All the animals that I'm going to show you that have name tags spawn naturally on this island, and I named them. Except Radar. I bred... Wait, no. Radar spawned naturally on the island. So did Hawkeye, and I bred Hawkeye and Radar to get Clinger. Uh, is this Bill? Spawn naturally. Clover or Clovis? Clovis spawned naturally. Donnie and Clover also spawn naturally. The turtles also spawn naturally, but they're not named. Alright, so let's head on over here. This I built myself. It's just a boat, but I'll take y'all, show y'all the inside of it. There are drowned in the water, so I'm being kind of hesitant being careful not to get killed these were placed in creative as I said most of the decorations were placed in creative like you see skulls and stuff like that everything like that was placed in creative this is the bottom half of the boat over here we have the captain's quarters And 
and said just a boat that I built a very I know other people build much nicer ones but this is a design that I really liked but like the desks and stuff and all the wood different types you see the spruce wood was gathered from sunken pirate ships the jungle wood was gathered from a jungle that's over by the desert in that direction and you all seen the savannah biome that's where I got all the savannah or the acacia wood here's the I guess you could say the helm of the ship there's a chicken it's the nether portal I'm gonna show you the nether because I really haven't done anything in there other than like gather nether rack I'm gonna try to get y'all a better view on the boat real quick before I take it to show you my pride and joy which I did building uh, I built in a survival Anyway, that's the boat. So let me take it and show you my water base. So, I also play another game called uh, Subnautica, and it was the inspiration for this base. It's very Subnautica themed. Now, a few of the decorations were placed and creative, but it was the base itself was built in survival. And most of the stuff inside was placed and built in survival. You can see it right there coming up. Now, of course, you see that bar there on the top. That doesn't do nothing. It's like an antenna just for looks. Then you have a solar panel. I have a solar panel running along all the way over to the base. All right, let's go. Let's go check it out. Welcome to my base. Probably my favorite. I, I, I love this base. It's my favorite thing I've ever built. So this is just the main room. I've got like a weird looking homemade computer thingy over here. Doesn't really do anything. It's just there for looks. And I've got all my chest hidden the ground like that. Over here under my desk and such. A uh, chair, a <laughs> laptop looking thing. Now these were placed in creative. Um, they were just uh, quartz. But I decided to just spawn in some, not really spawn in, but add some of the weird purple ender blocks. Because I thought they get more of a nautical theme. Also in here. There you go, this is the bedroom. Got another weird looking computer thing. Got a conduit and an ender rod. Looks like a lamp. These are also lamps made with glowstone. These up here. Okay, now I did spawn in these sea lanterns. These were my... Um, uh, I had originally glowstone, but I decided just since I've done pretty much everything on this world I can do in survival, I decided to, you know, spruce it up a little. And the sea lanterns really gave it more of a subnautica feel, more so than the uh, glowstone, if you know what I mean. We have a kitchen, some eggs, the whatever it's called, a crafting table, some furnaces, then I've also got these under the ground here. What do they keep? Anyway, hold on, where were they? There you go. Put my cups there. Got a refrigerator and a trash can. I'm living high on the hog down here. Got a kitchen table, a cake, and this is my kitchen. Now also, other than mining, I really never have to leave. I don't have to leave to get food because, what's this called, a, a moon pool? Did 
just sit here and enjoy some fishing. Oh, see that? There you go. Now this right here is just nothing. This is a one by one by one by one uh, tunnel going all the way through over there to an island and coming up. It's supposed to be an air vent. Of course, I don't really need air in this game, but it's fun to build. And this has been a basic tour of my realm. If you're interested in playing on it, go ahead and message me on Facebook. This is the Bethelcraft server. So, uh, really hope y'all enjoyed it. I know I sure enjoyed showing it to y'all. This has been Bishop Big Country, also known as the Phantom 97. Uh, hold it down, y'all.